Hey boys and girls, this book is called Immigration Stories by Marcus MacArthur. And it is from the primary source readers, uh, social studies books that we've been reading. And we're gonna learn about immigration stories. Immigration Stories, Marcus MacArthur, PhD. And here's our table of contents. Off to America, page four. Mary Story, page six. Seymour Story, page 10. Uh, it looks like Clotilde's, Clotilde's Story, page 16. Albert Story, page 22. A Land of Immigrants, Immigrants, page 26. Draw It, page 28. Glossary, page 30. Index, page 31. And your turn, page 32. These immigrants step onto American land for the first time. So you can see these immigrants coming off the boat and coming to America. <coughs> off to America. There are many immigrants, immigrants in America. Immigrants are people who move to a new country to live there. Each immigrant has a story to tell. They tell stories about where they came from. And they tell stories about their lives in America. So this is a, a map and it shows the United States of America, Dominican Republic, that's where Albert's from. Peru, that's where Clotilde is from. Poland, that's where Seymour is from. And China, that's where Mary is from. And this map shows the home countries of the four immigrants in this book. In this book, you will read the stories of four immigrants. Their names are Seymour, Seymour, Mary, Clotilde, Clotilde, and Albert. <clears throat> Mary's story. Mary was born in China in 1857. She was an orphan, orphan. Orphans do not have parents to raise them. This is Mary as an adult with her husband. So this is Mary and her husband. When Mary was 11 years old, her life changed. An American brought her to live in San Francisco, California. She lived in a house with other orphans. She learned to speak English there. Angel Island. Many Chinese immigrants came to America through Angel Island in San Francisco. It was an immigration station, Angel Island. So you can see the boats would stop right here and the immigrants would walk to Angel Island and, and be processed and checked. <clears throat> when Mary was 18 years old, she married Joseph Tape. He was an immigrant from China too. Mary and Joseph had four kids and they raised their kids in San Francisco. These are Chinese students in San Francisco in 1920. So this is Chinese students in San Francisco in 1920. Back then, Chinese kids were not allowed to go to the same schools as white kids. In 1885, Mary fought hard to change this law. Other people joined Mary's fight, but the law was not changed until 1947. Tale of Tape. Joseph Tape's name had been Chu Deep, deep. He wanted an American name, so he changed Chu to Joe and Deep to Tape. This is Joseph and Mary in 1930. Seymour story. Seymour Rexate, Rexate was a young boy living in Poland. He loved to sing. He was very good at it. It was not long before Seymour became famous. Seymour grew up in a Polish village like this one. So it looks like little grass roof house. Seymour sang in many concerts. People in Poland called him Wunderkind. 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 This means wonder child. Seymour was only four years old. This poster shows Seymour as a star in Poland. <clears throat> C 
Seymour's parents thought he could be a bigger star in America. In 1920, Seymour and his father left Poland for America. It was a long and very cold boat trip. Immigrants are checked at Ellis Island in 1907, so they're getting checked out to make sure they can come into the country. They arrived at Ellis Island. They were checked to make sure that they were healthy. And Im if immigrants were sick, they could not enter the country. Seymour was sick. He had to stay at Ellis Island until he was well. Ellis Island. Many immigrants came to America through Ellis Island in New York. Almost 40 million immigrants passed through this immigration station. This is Ellis Island Immigration Station in 1905. I would imagine that would be pretty scary. Like you're arriving to a brand new country, you're taken to this island, and then they tell you that you're sick. And he was a little kid, and he had to stay at Ellis Island. I hope that they let his father stay with him, because that would be pretty scary if they didn't. Seymour got better. He soon became a star in America. He made enough money to bring the rest of his family over from Poland. But a new law set quotas, quotas, or limits on immigration. This meant that Seymour's family could not come to America. Calvin Coolidge was president when Seymour sang. One day, Seymour sang for the president of the United States. President Coolidge liked Seymour's song. He helped bring Seymour's family to America. And this looks like a picture of him right here. Seymour Rexite sings popular Jewish melodies. Seymour made records as an adult. This is the front and back of one of his records. Clotilde's story. Clotilde Arias grew up in Peru. She loved music as a young girl. She liked writing poems and songs too. She wanted to go to school to learn more about music but there were not many music schools in Peru. Clotilde went to a music school like this one. So they're teaching her how to sing. Clotilde knew there were more music schools in America. So in 1923, she moved to New York City. Clotilde was excited to study music, but her family had a hard time making money. She had to give up her studies. She got a job as a nurse to help her family. Clotilde far right poses with other nurses. Clotilde was sad, but she did not give up on her dream. She worked hard at many jobs. She even wrote songs to sell things on the radio. Clotilde sings a song on the radio. This is Clotilde's Spanish version of the Star Spangled Banner. In 1945, Clotilde had a chance to do something big. She was asked to write a Spanish version of the Star Spangled Banner. This is the national anthem. It is America's song. This is a big honor. Clotilde was happy to do it. Now, more people could sing the song. Many immigrants have sung Clotilde's song. Many still sing it. This woman is singing Clotilde's anthem today. Albert's story. Albert <clears throat> Pujols grew up in the Dominican Republic. He loved to play baseball. He played baseball after school. He would play until it was dark, too dark to see the ball. This is a baseball glove and a bat. A baseball, a glove, and a bat. But Albert's grandmother wanted a better life for him. She thought Albert should have more chances to succeed, succeed in America. In 1996, Albert's family moved to Missouri, Missouri. And this is Albert Pujols. Albert became a star on his high school baseball team. People saw that he was good. In 2001, the St. Louis Cardinals asked him to join the team. Albert hits a home run in 2011. Albert was now a professional baseball player. He got paid to play baseball. He became one of the best players in history. Albert's dream came true, playing for the Angels. In 2012, Albert started playing baseball with the Angels. The Angels are a team in California. Albert teaches kids in the Dominican Republic how to play baseball. So this is, he's teaching kids how to play baseball. A land of immigrants. America is a land of immigrants. They come to America from different countries or from around the world. They 
move here for different reasons. These boys came to America from another country. Immigrants bring their talents and ideas. They do great things for America. They help, they make America a great country. Immigrants see the Statue of Liberty in New York City for the first time. Draw it. Imagine you are one of the immigrants in this book. How would you feel about your journey to America? Draw a picture to show your feelings. These immigrants are waving American flags. This girl is drawing a picture of an immigrant. Glossary. Anthem. A formal song of loyalty, praise, or happiness. Honor. Respect that is given to someone who is admired. Immigrants. People who move to another country to live there. Immigration. When people move to another country to live there. Law. A rule made by the government. Orphan. A child who does not have parents. Professional. Doing a job for money. Quotas. Limits. Succeed. To do what you are trying to do. And the index says Angel Island is mentioned on page 7. Baseball is on page 22 and 24 through 25. China is on page 5 through 6 and page 8. Dominican Republic is on page 5, page 22 and page 25. Ellis Island is on page 12 through 13. Missouri is on page 23. National Anthem on page 20. New York City on page 17 and page 27. Peru is on page 5 and 16. Poland is on page 5, 10 through 12 and page 14. Quotas are on page 14 and San Francisco is on page 7 through 8. Your turn. <clears throat> a special song. Seymour sang a song for the president. The words of the song made the president want to help Seymour's family write a special song about immigration. Set the song to a tune you already know. And that was our book on immigration stories about four immigrants who traveled to America. And many, many, many people travel to America every year and have traveled in the past. And most of our families come from immigrants. So it's important to know their stories.